Milan opens the Champions League campaign with a draw against Newcastle uh, on the pitch. Milan extraordinary game today, guys. They were simply on fire. A dominating performance uh, ends 0-0 and it leaves a taste of unfinished business. So why? Because Milan created lots of chances. They should have scored. They didn't. And in my opinion... It's not a point acquired, but he uh, dropped two points. In my point of view, uh, Milan playing very well today. Uh, the type of response we wanted to see after a disastrous derby, we wanted to see, we wanted to see them lively. We wanted to see them uh, proactive. We wanted to see them uh, try and create stuff. Guys, today Milan did all of that. They did all of that uh, in the midfield. They were very good. Uh, up front, they played very well. They couldn't finish. Uh, defensively, they didn't give much. I think after the first half, guys, Milan had 16 attempts on uh, net for uh, Milan. Only one or two for Newcastle. Nothing major. But besides the result that ends in a 0-0 draw, guys, we lose Mike Mania and loftus -Cheek. Both have to come out because of injury. Musa comes in. I gotta be honest, Musa for off his cheek. Uh, as a Mezzala, I really liked the way he played. The kid played well the time that I saw him on the field. Um, tried to create things, didn't lose the ball. Like he was very active. I liked the, what I saw. And Sportiello, guys, what is the importance of having a, a second goaler that could come in and actually make a big time save in the overtime? Guys, Sportiello saves the game today. As much as Milan dominated the entire thing, the last occasion, the occasion that uh, Newcastle got to actually score a goal, guys, Portiello had to make a tremendous save. Uh, that being said, I hope it's not the Polpaccio again for uh, Magnan, guys. It would be a big loss for Milan. It can't be that every season we start with a Magna injury. Uh, but like I said, guys, overall, a very good performance. I liked what I saw from Loft, uh, Loftus-Cheek, yes, but no. I wanted to say Chukwaze up front. Uh, played very well the time that he was on the field. Reinders comes in, has an um, impact right away. Pobega played a good game as well. Like I said, overall, guys, a very good performance. I even like what Florenzi did when he came in for Calabria. I gotta be honest, did he take him out just because he got the yellow or did he take him out just because he was injured? I wasn't sure. Um, but overall, guys, a very, very good performance. Too bad for the result. Too bad for the injuries. Uh, but Milan, a good reaction today against a good Newcastle team. Uh, very, very, very incredible ovation for Sandro Tonali. Guys, um, San Siro screaming, Sandro uno di noi. Uh, I think his story is very different than what Donnarumma was or Charanoglu uh, was, right? They left because they uh, went for money. They didn't give an opportunity to the club to actually uh, make any money off of them. And although they proclaimed their love, it was like if they backstabbed Milan, right? Uh, Tonali, not the same thing. Uh, fans love them. And fans showing their support for Pioli today. Very important singing. Pioli is on fire. Loud and clear for everybody to hear. Uh, like I said, I think at the end, the result for Milan is more of a dropped two points with what they showed on the field. Um, but, guys, it was a very good performance. Rebound performance after that disastrous derby. Let me know what you think, write in the comments, like and subscribe guys. What did you think about this game? Uh, like I said, too bad they couldn't score a goal. Leal, especially that chance, oh my God. Anyways, uh, incredible. The Newcastle goalie had to make a few good saves. Like, uh, Anyways, it wasn't that right. Let me know what you think, write in the comments, like and subscribe.